Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is the Git unfixed camera position node. So if I run this example, we can see some numbers at the top and they're going to look the same. They're basically showing where my camera is inside the world. Now my camera's on a spring arm and like a spring arm, a spring arm re react when it collides with something in order to not clip through it. So as I move it against this wall, you'll notice my values now change. The bomb number is now different than the top number. So if we look at our nodes themselves, the unfixed camera position, it targets a spring arm component. So this is a spring arm that is on my third person character, and it simply returns back a value. The position or the vector three or the location of where this item is inside of our world. Looking at our third person character, you can see the camera boom here, and it's got settings such as the arm length and other collision settings. And that's it. It's a really simple node. It's useful, for example, if maybe you want to do some modifications. You want to use the spring arm. You want to have the advantages of the spring arm, but maybe you want to limit it. You don't want it to go to a certain distance. You could, for example, look at what the current fixed position is. Like here, you can see it's going down to a low number and you're getting maybe too close and you can prevent it from happening. Or you could have it no longer collide with your object once it gets to a certain point maybe goes to a different opacity so that way you don't go inside of your character and you prevent issues by looking at the unfixed position compared to the fixed position 